welcome back to another video. I'm Nick from A Load of Old Scrap. I create sculptures from scrap, salvaged, recycled, sometimes new metal, mostly scrap. Now customers come to me and ask me to make a sign to go in front of their house. <coughs> so I've decided on this one I'm going to use some new metal. I'm going to use the extreme plasma CNC table that I've got. I'm going to cut out the nice design for the front of their house with the name of the house and number of the house on that as well. Once it's cut on the plasma table, I'm going to clean it all up, uh, weld a stud onto it. I will then make up a board from uh, reclaimed pallet wood. I'm going to distress that wood, use some, use some heat on that, um, get a flame on it, really burnish it nicely. Um, and then mount the nice shiny house sign onto the distressed wood there. Now, this is the original design. The customer actually saw this uh, design that I'd already cut on display during Somerset Art Weeks and asked if I could adapt it to work in the name of their house into, the, in, into it to make a sign. Um, so what I've done, I've adjusted it there. You can see where I've taken out the middle section, added in the letter in the numbers, um, bulked out the um, trunk of the tree as well, just so it'd all tie in a bit nicer for it. clean up on the sign done it's nice and shiny all the dross is taken off the back you might have noticed when I was cleaning up the front of it I was doing long strokes with the grinder so that you get kind of an even pattern on the front of it obviously that's the piece that's going to be seen that's more important I'm going to get some pallet wood together now chop that up and make a panel for the sign to be mounted onto
mount it up to the board nice and quick just to make sure everything looks good. The plan was to distress the wood some more and I was going to go over it with a blowtorch and burn it all slightly and then sort of rub it back. I actually quite like it looking like this. So what I'm going to do is get a spare piece of pallet wood, burn that up and just put the metal against it and see what looks better. I've done a test burn on a plank of wood to see what that's going to look like and I've decided that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the burn, burn, burnished, if that's even the right phrase for it, I don't know. Um, we're going to go for that finish on the wood um, and then get the nice shiny metal on top of that. <laughs> Preserve the wood a little bit. I'm going to use this, which is boiled linseed oil. And um, you've got to be a bit careful with this stuff. After you've used it, any rag or brush or anything you use to put it on, you've got to put it into a bucket of water. Apparently, it can like catch on fire on its own or spontaneously combust. And um, but it's really good for sealing wood. So I'm going to use this on the pallet wood panel. So you can see from putting that boiled linseed oil, it's really darkened the wood down. Looks like an old um, timbers from an old boat or something. That's really cool. It's gonna be a really nice contrast against the shiny metal of the sign. Kind of in the light, be a bit better. Yeah, that's good. Glad I did that now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. I mean, the, um, the contrast between the nice shiny metal and the sort of distressed wood worked really well on that. Uh, so yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, if you want to, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have a good day.